guests. We are starting today with Corinne Hayes, our Butterball Turkey Talk Line expert. She is answering all your questions for the next 15 minutes or so. What we want you to do is text us your question. The number is on the screen, 336-379-5775. You can get your questions answered in real time. And really, there's no question that you can't ask because they've heard everything and then some. <laughs> all right. So Corinne, thank you so much for joining us. I know you guys have all kinds of resources and stuff to remind people what to do so they don't get stressed out. Give me a few best tips as we are looking at thawing our turkey. Yes, absolutely. So today is actually National Thaw Your Turkey Day, which means depending on what size turkey you have, today is a great day to take it out of the freezer and put it into the fridge so that it's thawed by Thanksgiving. Um, so if you have a 10 pound turkey, it will take about three to four days to thaw and then it will be definitely thawed out for Thanksgiving. That's if you're right. crunched for time and you're not sure that you'll get your turkey thawed in time, you could put your turkey in cold water, change that water every 30 minutes, and that will definitely get your turkey thawed out faster than thawing in the refrigerator. Okay, so the cold water thawing, that's what you're seeing on your screen right now. And so it was telling folks, because I think a lot of people, they put the turkey in there, they put the water in there, and then they leave it there for a couple hours. That is not the way to do it. No, no, if you don't change the water, it will uh, cause the turkey to thaw out slower than if you were to change the water about every 30 minutes. It helps speed up the process. Okay, that is good to know. It actually helps speed up the process uh, to have that colder water in there instead of making it go lukewarm. All right, so a lot of people get kind of like really like nervous about cooking a turkey, right? Because it's the big thing for Thanksgiving. How do you know when your turkey is done? That's a great question. And it's actually a really important uh, aspect of cooking a whole turkey. If you don't bring your turkey up to safe food, um, food safety temperatures, you could make some of your guests sick. So using a meat thermometer is the best way to determine when your turkey is done. In the breast meat, you will want it to get up to 170 degrees. If you choose to stuff your turkey, you'll want to make sure that the stuffing gets up to 165 degrees. And if uh, in that thigh meat, you want that to get up to 185 degrees. I think when a you lot reach of those numbers, your turkey is done. Okay, and I think a lot of people do the whole thing of they look at it and it looks brown, and so they go, I think it's done. No, definitely get a meat thermometer. It's the safest way to determine when your turkey is done. All right, and if you are putting stuffing inside the turkey, it's probably going to take a little longer for that turkey to cook. That's correct, yes. Uh, if you have questions about how long your turkey will take to cook, if you do choose to stuff it, which is absolutely safe to do, go ahead and give us a call at one at hand or Bunderball. We'll walk you through the process and give you tips about how long that should take for the size turkey that you have. Okay, so here's the next thing. Every single time I go home for Thanksgiving, the other thing they freak out about is someone carving the turkey. So I'm always elected to carve the turkey, which it doesn't make me go, okay, that's weird. But everybody else is like, I don't wanna be the one to carve the turkey. So let's let everyone get in on it. What is the best way to carve the turkey? That is a great question. Don't be afraid to carve your turkey. Once that turkey comes out of the oven, let it sit for about 20 minutes or so, just so that those juices settle and that it's really not as hot when you do attempt to carve it. Uh, we also have videos on butterball.com to show and demonstrate the best way to carve a turkey, but really just carve it into its whole parts, the breast meat, uh, the thighs, carve those off. And then once it's off the bone, you can go ahead and cut it into slices to serve. Okay, um, and so there are lots of videos on the Butterball website. I want to talk about how folks can get to you guys one on one. So they've got the time to ask questions to you right now. But as it gets closer to the day or on the day, how do they talk with an expert? Absolutely. Like I mentioned before, call us at 1-800-BUTTERBALL. You can also text us. We're available via chat on our website. You can also email us as well. If you're on social media, we have Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I actually texted you guys today asking about the stuffing, and I got an answer within about two minutes. It was a really easy way to do it. Absolutely, yes. We are here to help. We're here to lend a hand and give great tips. Sometimes the holidays can be really stressful. And the great thing about Butterball, the Butterball Talk Line, we've been doing this for about 40 years now. 
And although we're offering cooking tips, recipes, and uh, things all surrounding Thanksgiving, we also lend some emotional support. So something that we've done this year is we've developed a emotional support calendar. <laughs> and on this calendar, each day has a tip that helps, you know, self-care, de-stress, relax, because the holidays are really a lovely time. And the Butterball Talk line is here to help out um, and de-stress people if they if they are worried about the holidays and starting to get frantic. Yes, and that comfort calendar, you can download it on their website. You can print it out for yourself if you'd like. You can send those little daily reminders to family and friends.